Hi guys and ladies. Uh oh, I'm in the kitchen again and you know that could spell disaster. I'd like to try making my favorite meal when I was a kid, but this time it's going to be lower carb. I'm going to try making gnocchi. My daughter used to call them gnocchi. Well, you know, regular pasta is out on a low-carb diet, and so are potatoes and flour. But I'm Italian. I crave these things. Let's see if I could find a workaround. Here we have the basis of the whole recipe. Eight ounces of goat cheese and eight ounces of cream cheese. Both of them are softened at room temperature. Here's a sauce I've made from scratch, but you can use your favorite jarred sauce. You could use also a pesto sauce or a sage butter sauce. The sauces for gnocchi are countless. Here I'm going to start heating up some water. Here I have a half a cup of soy flour, which is lower in carbohydrates, and also a half a cup of regular flour. Here I'm just sifting both flours into a large bowl. Very simple. I'm going to add one and a half cups of grated Parmesan cheese. Here I'm adding three egg yolks, just the yolks. Goat cheese, cream cheese. I'm going to mix this now with my hands. There's our finished dough ball. See, not so bad after all. You see, I'm going to just take a little bit of it and roll it out into a rope. You know, this is also known as nudi, G-N-U-D-I. It actually means nude in Italian. And uh, the reason for that is it's basically cheese. And this is like the filling of a ravioli, which was covered, of course, with pasta. So this is nude. You know, people have asked me, why do you call yourself Juanello if you're Italian? Isn't that uh, Hispanic? Well, I love Hispanic culture. I love learning the Spanish language. But I am Italian and I love gnocchi. When I was a kid, we used to refer to any pasta that was in this shape as cavadil. And uh, this, of course, is not a true cavadil or cavatelli. This is a gnocchi, and the kind of gnocchi is a nudie. Wow, I just counted them. There's a hundred and ninety. I think I made too many. Now, unlike pasta, you don't want to make a roiling boil, just a gentle boil. Woo! They splash. You wait until they float to the top few seconds after they float to the top, they're finished. Let's go with 30. Oh, looky there. They're starting to float. Let's get some of them out. Let it drain into a bowl. Rinse and repeat. They're floating up right on schedule. Hmm, these might turn out good after all. Now I'm just going to add the sauce. Ooh. Well, here we have it, and they look pretty good. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, they're beautiful. Mine's are. <laughs> mm. 